Hey, welcome to our class of Tuesday Night Beer School with me, Chad, of Chad's Beer Reviews, and my student, Christina. So this is actually the third class on this style that I've done. This is the, the first, like, real Tuesday Night Beer School was on this style, and then I did it about a year later because I wasn't happy with the way that I did it at the time. And it's been about a year since then, you know, and I met Christina, and we did the, the Le Petit Prince for the American Wild Beer style, which is technically a Saison at the, at the core. And you seem to like it, so it's like, well, let's do actual Saison. I remember, like, you know, when we've gone to, like, brew pubs and they've had a Saison, you seem to like them. Yep. Yeah, so I think you would like this style. So, the third time, third time around, third time's the charm, I guess, as they say. You know, category 25B, Saison, overall impression, a family of refreshing, highly attenuated, hoppy, and fairly bitter Belgian ales with a very dry finish and high carbonation, characterized by a fruity, spicy, sometimes phenolic fermentation profile, and the use of cereal grains and sometimes spices for complexity. Several variations in strength and color exist. I mean, look at this. I mean, it says like sometimes, twice, several variations in colors exist. I feel like there should be an entire category just for Saison, not like a style, um, which we'll get to in a minute. So like comments, I mean, they mentioned, basically just re reiterate what they just said here. It's like, there's light versions, dark versions, strong versions, uh, sourness is totally optional. Um, pale versions are more hoppy than darker versions. Often called farmhouse ales in the U.S., but the term is not common in Europe. And then look, it says Britannomyces is not typical for this style, although a lot of um, American Brits or American saisons do have Brett. And then there's like another substyle, the Grisette, which is like a table you know, really low ABV strength, which is basically a little bit prints as a grisette. Yeah, it's All low right. ABV. All right, so history. You guys can pause and read it if you want. Characters and ingredients. Pale base malt, cereal grains, such as wheat, oats, spelt, or rye. Well, there's, there's your answer. I was quizzing her off camera. May contain sugary adjuncts, continental hops. All right, here's a, here's a quiz for you. What does continental hops mean? Um, grown in the continent. Right, which continent? United States. No. Belgium. Well, that's not a continent. Europe. Yeah. Spicy, fruity, Belgian saison yeast. Spices and herbs are uncommon, but allowable if they don't dominate. All right, so it's similar to the Belgian blonde, mm. but, like, much drier, and, like, it's way less, like, fruity. It's more spicy than fruity. And, like, see how they have all these, like, subcategories here, like the... Pale, dark, super, standard table, standard, super, you know. All right, so commercial examples, and we do have two of them. So this, here, let me get right here. So I have in my hand, Cezanne DuPont. I love how it says right on the can here, it says the world's most iconic Cezanne. Mm. And what do you have? I have Tank 7 by Boulevard. Yeah, that's that's probably the best American and most like widely, exam widely available example of the style. For an American brewery, although Amma Gang makes a good one too. But all mm. right, so we're gonna pour these off camera, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We got our beers poured here in our little taster glasses. Can't guess which one is which. Well, all right, which one do you want to start with? Um, the Saison Dupont. All right, that's the home team. So let's give this one a whiff. To me, this is like pure perfume. Yeah. It's like perfume at your grandma's house, you know? Floral, spicy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like going to a um, floral shop or something. Mm-hmm. What else? Malty. Yeah. Does it smell like cereal at all to you? Not at all. I'm not getting that at all. Or like weedy? Wheaty? Wheaty? <laughs> no. Does it to you? Mm, maybe a little. To me, it smells. It's it's just like all about the yeast character on here, and it's mm -hmm. like you know, like the German wheat beers. Like those are all yeast character, but like this is, yeah. it's a different kind of yeast character. It's just like, to me, it's so perfumey. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, like a tiny little bit of citrus on it as well. Yes. All right, let's give the American Tank Seven a try. Whoa. <laughs> this one's really perfumey. 
I think what you're getting on that is wow. act- actual alcohol. By the way, the Tank 7, what's the ABV on this? It's pretty strong. This is 8.5. No, it's not alcohol. It's um, it's perfumey. Like, it, um, this one's 6.5. Kind of like a cheap perfume. <laughs> it's very fragrant, though. I like it. Do you get a like citrusy, like kind of American hops on this one? I do, yeah. Yeah, I think they use American hops. Mm-hmm. This one, I've had this one many times in kind of spoilers here, but to me, this Tank 7 beer is like almost more like a Belgian IPA than a true Saison, but... All right, let's check the specs. Man, this is long. <laughs> Aroma, pleasantly aromatic mix of fruity spicy yeast and hops all right i agree with that for all of them yeah the fruity esters are moderate to high and often have a citrus fruit palm fruit or stone fruit character yeah i agree low to moderately high spicy notes are often like black pepper not clove i agree it's not clove yeah it is it's like table black pepper right hops are low to moderate and have a continental character spicy floral earthy or fruity although i would say the tank seven is like a little americanized yeah the saison is definitely yeah uh, the malt is often o- overshadowed, but if detected, is lightly grainy. That's funny because, like you said, you didn't really pick up on the malt that much. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Spices and herbs optional, but must not dominate. There's no spice in either of these. Sourness optional. Th- yeah, these aren't sour. Strong versions have more aromatic intensity. Can add a light alcohol and moderate malt character. Table versions have less intensity and not not have an alcohol character. Darker versions. All right. Well, neither of these are dark, but. Um, I would probably call the Tank 7 a strong and the Saison DuPont, like, standard. So maybe this isn't, like, a totally fair fight. Mm. All right, so for the Saison DuPont, I mean, the style guidelines are right around this beer. So, I mean, basically all you're judging is the container, which I can't really get a fresh date off of. Yeah. Um, it doesn't smell old to me. So I'm going to go pretty high on this one. I'm going to go 11. Um, I will do a nine on that one. Really? Yeah. And a tank seven. I'm gonna. I'll do the opposite. I'm gonna say nine for that one. To me, that one's. <laughs> it's a little Americanized, and it's also that bottle's old. I'm getting a little oxidation on that one. Really? I'm not yeah. getting that at all. Yeah, I get that little yellow lollipop on there. I think they're both good on the guidelines. I'll give it a nine as well. Wow, that's actually kind of low for you. <laughs> yeah. The kind Usually of... we give double digits. All right, so I know we got the lights turned down, but these look almost identical. Uh, I would say the Saison DuPont is much more effervescent. I mean, look at that. You can see the carbonation just streaming. Can you see that in mine? Yeah. Yeah, in yours too. Yeah. It's not it's as like champagne. bubbly. The Tank 7 has like these particulates just floating in suspension. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not bubbling. And both have like a big, huge white foamy head yeah when we poured them some particulates floating around in there. i would say they're both are good looking beers yes very similar in color Mm -hmm. all right let's check the specs on appearance pale gold to deep amber in color sometimes pale orange long lasting dense rocky white ivory head belgian lace unfiltered so clarity is very all right so pour to good and maybe hazy okay effervescent yep darker version well neither that doesn't really apply here um to me, they're both three out of three. The same, three out of three. All right, so which one do you want to start with? The home team or the visitors? Let's do the home team. All right. All right, so Saison DuPont. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It's very high on the bitterness scale. Um, I it's not that it's bitter. It's that it just seems bitter because it's it's really dry. It is very dry. It's highly attenuated, as they as we would say. So, and I think a lot of that like bitterness that you're getting is just like yeast phenolics. Like it's like you know, black peppercorn. It it almost kind of like that. You ever like spray so much perfume where it's like in the air and you can like actually taste it? Yeah. It has a, like a little bit of that here. Yeah, there's some spice in the aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Also, um, yeah, so it's it's very floral, like a you know florist shop. Mm-hmm. I get I get a little bit of oxidation on this one. I'm getting like a little bit of that lemon lollipop. Are you getting? 
No, I was going to say, I don't really get any fruit on this at all. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, I get like maybe like lemon peel or lemon pith. Yeah. Some like, a, like kind of, I mean, it's just kind of baked. It like, it's all, all these flavors and aromas when they come together, you just kind of like get stuff in there that may or not actually be in there. Yeah, definitely more spicy than fruity on this one. Yeah, I would say if there is a fruit in here, to me it's like lemon peel. It's not even like the actual lemon fruit. Mm. Yeah, so subtle. Yeah. And it's weird because like we're drinking it fairly warm. <laughs> um, I think it tastes a little different on if it was cold. All right, so we'll move on to the visitor team. Well, I guess this would be the home team since we're in America. It's America. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. That is spicy. Mm. Yeah, this one's, to me, it's more like hoppy. Wow. Yeah, this one, it's, a, it's like a different kind of spice, whereas like the Saison DuPont has like that kind of country air yeah kind of terroir thing the tank seven is kind of like a recreation of that you know well like the real like it's like natural flavor versus like our i mean it's not literally artificial flavor i'm just saying yeah i think the saison is very subtle and this is like very in your face with just space well they're both saisons you mean a tank seven <laughs> yeah it's funny Whatever because said. I think the Tank 7 bottle is older than the Saison DuPont can, mm -hmm. but this doesn't taste old to me. Do so you get like paper or Might be some cardboard on there? A little bit. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit. This one's... The Tank 7 seems less noticeably dry to me. Yeah. I think like it's more dry in the aftertaste. Like the Saison the DuPont aftertaste is like all spicy it's so much and the the tank seven is just kind of more dry um maybe even like this one has like noticeable alcohol in it yeah i think it's uh the tank seven is definitely spicier spicier or floral or something there's i think it's hoppier as yeah. american you know american breweries love to go nuts with the hops doesn't matter what the style is mm -hmm. No, there's like a spice there. Hmm. All right, well, let's check the specs on flavor. flavor. A balance of fruity and spicy yeast, hop, hoppy bitterness, and grainy malt with moderate to high bitterness, and a very dry finish. That's kind of a run on sentence. Yeah. Um, I would say both beers, you know, check off all those boxes. Fruity and spicy. I mean, I said it was like slightly lemony for the Saison DuPont. The Tank 7 didn't seem fruity at all to me, other than, like... I really wouldn't say either of them have a balance of fruity and spicy. I think they're more yeah. spicy than fruity, so yeah, I they're agree. not balanced, really. Yeah, I agree. The fruity and spicy aspects are medium low to medium high, and hot flavor is low to medium, both with similar characteristics as in the aroma. Malt is low to medium with a soft, grainy palate. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree. It's The malt is... It's funny because like the malt and like the cereal grains on here, mm -hmm. they're actually not really the star of the show. The yeast character is, you know. Right. Very high attenuation. Never with a sweet or heavy finish. Yeah, I agree. These both finish like bone dry. Yes. Extremely. Bitter, spicy aftertaste. True. Spices and herbs optional, but if used, yeah. Right. So sourness optional. Yeah. See, I think if there's sourness, that should be a whole different beer style. Yeah, sourness. Needs to be identified. Yeah, because, like, what if we had <laughs> Le Petit Prince right here? They would be like... There's... Yeah, well, we, we wouldn't know. Is this gone bad, or yeah. is this the way it's supposed to be? Um, stronger versions will have greater malt intensity and a light alcohol note. I agree. The I did get a little bit of alcohol on the Tank 7. Yeah. And neither of these are dark, so we can skip that. Mm-hmm. All right, so for flavor, mm -hmm. the Saison DuPont, again, this, the style guidelines are written around this, so... Why not just give it a 50 and call it a day? <laughs> I'm going to go pretty high. I'm going to say 18. I could maybe even go higher. I'll do a 19. Okay. Uh, the Tank 7, I've had this beer many times. I just think this bottle is a little old. Hmm. But otherwise, I mean, it's right there. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 16. 
I could maybe, I could probably go up or down a point or two on that. I'm going to go low on this one because I don't see balance in this beer. Mm-hmm. Um, 15. All right. So we'll talk about mouthfeel. We'll start with Saison DuPont. I'd say medium light. I well, would probably say, yeah, I think straight it's, medium. Yeah. Maybe? I'd say it's more like medium. Mm-hmm. I think because it has like wheat and I think there's a little bit of oats in there. Even though it's like really highly effervescent, it has like almost like a slight kind of smooth, creamy texture to it, like you would get like in a hazy IPA. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say for the Saison Dupont, I would say like medium body. Uh, I would say it's actually even though it's like highly effervescent. Yes. It's still quite smooth, which is weird because usually when you have that higher like that high uh co2 it's gonna be like crisp like a lager Mm -hmm. but this still has like that ale drinking character to it all right so tank seven this one is it's definitely a little a tad heavier it's a little fuller yeah I mean, it should be, because that one's 8.5 ABV, mm-hmm. and the Saison de Pont's only 6.5. I wouldn't go as far as to say heavy or full-bodied. I'd probably say, like, medium plus, medium full. Yeah. Um, carbonation's a little lower on that one. It is. Yeah, I'd say it's probably... Medium. I'd probably say, like, moderate high. Moderate high. Yeah. It's, it seems like a little bit more than medium. But, I mean, would you consider this one creamy or... Nope. Soft? No. Do you? I think it's not at all. Yeah, it's, it has like a kind of crisp snap to it, like a lager. Snap is a good word, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's check the specs. And I will say there is a little bit of alcohol warmth on that one, too. Yeah, for sure. Not a ton, just a little. All right, let's check the specs on mouthfeel. Light to medium low body, very high carbonation, effervescent, light warming alcohol, optional, sourness rare. Ice. Sourness optional. That's interesting to say light to medium low. Oh. First of all, it should say medium light, not medium low. So, um, I neither mean, of them gets that, really. I, I mean, the Sage on the Pond is definitely lighter yeah. than the... Tank. I mean, okay, I could say... I can see where they say medium low. I would say I would agree medium low for the Saison de Pont, but I think the Tank Seven is like at least at least a medium. Yeah, for sure. Very high carbonation, effervescent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So mouthfeel. I mean, really should give us a five. I mean, style guidelines are written around this beer. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it's fun. I like I like that high effervescence, but it's still it's six point five. It's still fairly strong. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like deceptively, you know, it's like champagne. How like you know, it's real easy to drink, but it's also really strong. Yeah, I'll oh. do a five as well. Okay. Um, the tank seven I'm, is I think it's a little lacking. I'm gonna go four. I was gonna do a four as well. Okay. It doesn't hit the mark. All right. Overall, to me, the saison Dupont. I mean. This as a product, it's fifty point product. This pro- remember, we're always reviewing the container we have in front of us, not the product as a, you know, in a meta analysis or whatever. So this particular can is, it's actually pretty good. I'm, I could go nine or ten on this one. I'm gonna say nine. My average is a nine. Okay. And like I said, I could bump a few of these up. So I mean, I'm at forty six. That's already in world class territory. World class. Same thing with the Tank 7. This, this, I don't know, this bottle is just a little old. They actually have this in cans now, which I prefer. Yeah. So to me, this is an 8 out of 10 bottle. Still get a 40. Yeah, for I guess for this bottle, this is a 7. 7? Mm-hmm. Mm, you went a little low on that one. I'm surprised. Yeah, that was my average, though. Hmm. That flavor killed it. <laughs> killed it. All right, so before I wrap up, I always like to ask Christina like what she learned about the style. The style is actually very broad. It's very open to interpretation. Sourness yeah. is optional. Mm-hmm. Um, medium body ideal. Dryness expected. Actually, it's, it's only medium if it's a strong beer. If Otherwise, it's a, strong, it's a light body. Right. Yeah. And um, 
like how would you compare this to like some of the other Belgians we've had? You know, like we did all the Trappist styles. Yeah. This is sort of similar to a triple and also the Belgian blonde we did last summer. I'd say a little similar, definitely more dry. Yeah, I think that's the takeaway with this style is dry or highly attenuated mm -hmm. and also really spicy, really uh, phenolic. They sure it's are. A, there's a certain, I mean, like there's like, like Belgian Blonde, Saison, and like the Triple are all like really spicy, like uh, yeasty, yeast driven styles. But it's weird because like each one, even though they're all Belgian yeast, is like they all have like their own. Just like you, like I mean, I could tell the difference. Like, you know, the Saison Dupont. This is like carbonated peppercorn. You know, and the Belgian Triple is like fruity pebbles. You know, and like the Belgian Blonde, that's also kind of fruity pebbles. You know, but uh, did you like it at least? Not really. Really, I thought you would like this one. But the Saison we had the other night. The well, Le Petit I, Prince? No, um, the other night. Oh, the uh, Flourish. I loved that. It's kind of crazy that it's the same style. Didn't drink yeah. anything like either of these two. I think that's so... just because it's like an almost like a hazy IPA yeah. Saison hybrid or something. So I agree. Like They need yeah. to maybe nail down yeah. the Saison but... category so it's not so broad. Yeah, but... I, I agree on that. So, All right, we're rambling. If you watch all the way in, <laughs> you're awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.